Hello, everyone. Thank you for checking out this episode of Really Dicey. I'm here with Adam and Kiva, uh, the brains behind the game Something Wicked. Um, so, uh, Adam, let me go to you first. Uh, what is this game about? So, in Something Wicked, you take on the role of one of the witches, and you're going to be trading brooms back and forth to acquire the most brooms uh, of the three and you're trying to get a certain amount based on the number of players the first person to get that amount wins and it sounds simple but it's pretty complicated i think uh, in the current the way the game currently looks those are wands uh, three different colored wands there are only three actions in this game which makes it seem really simple and they're very simple actions but people can play the game and not be quite sure how they won or lost and yet there's no there's no chance in the game it's all specific actions all player agency from what i've seen it, it's a very unique looking game um where where did the idea for this come from how did it start i got this one so this story is fun so um i got really sick with some sort of flu um i was down and out for about four days and after those four days my fever broke and just at the moment my fever broke, I sat straight up like a vampire raising out of a coffin. And the game downloaded itself into my brain, fully functional. And I immediately ran over to the living room and grabbed some paper clips to see if mechanically it would work. And it worked perfectly. And that's how the game came about. So then from there, we started going to, I think we went to a grocery store, right, Al? Um, went to a grocery store and a party store to pick up some... Uh, really brightly colored swizzle sticks and some shot glasses, some long shot glasses. And that was our next iteration of the game, just to make it look a little bit more like we intended to um, hold together a little bit better. And that's where we um, showed it to breaking games. I think that was the, the table presence was part of what, what brought their attention to it. It was really colorful. Uh, tell me about the, the art. That's what really captures me when I first saw it. Was the art looks, looks fantastic. Uh, what, what can you tell me about the art and, and uh, the design of the game? When we first came up with the game, it was completely uh, unthemed. We came up with a really thin layer of theming to put over the top of it, which made sense but didn't make sense. The thing was that when Sherry took it to trade shows to try to sell it to folks, they weren't getting the game. They just couldn't understand it for some reason. And we'd not had any trouble with anybody playing the game before that, but they were trying to see how does this fit into anything? And so uh, they came up with the idea of let's, let's put a big theme on this thing of making it Halloween. So Ian Reed at Breaking Games came up with this idea of something wicked and kind of basing it on boiling, the, the Shakespearean Hamlet lines, right? Of, of boiling and trouble and toil. And that's where it all came from. And they arranged to get all of the art made for it, putting the witches on there, making the, what we had as swizzle sticks into wands and making this, this unique cauldron to hold everything. Uh, so tell me about the, um, uh, like how, about the rules for the game. Is it, is, it, is it very easy to learn? What's the age range for someone that you feel comfortable uh, learning the game on their own? Okay, so the game is pretty simple you're going to have a certain number of sticks and everyone or wands everyone is going to have a certain number of wands there's also going to be uh 10 of each colored wand inside the cauldron your object is to get 11 plus the number of players of each wand you do that by either trading wands in to get more wands putting wands in forcing your opponents to put wands in or just taking one of each so the actions are very simple. I put one in and I can take two of another color, or I could put one in and force my opponents to put one in and then trade, or I can just take one of each. You go around the table, each taking a single action until one person succeeds. And the big trick is to realize that the person's not gonna win with what's in their hand. They're gonna win by doing some action, which then gives them the amount of wants that they need. Um, we've had people play that are as young as say six or seven and they get it and it's a lot of fun. Uh, we've also had people really, 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 really ancient play this game. Um, <laughs> uh, and so the age range is, I would say middle school up to, you know, whenever, but uh, it's a really simple concept like say checkers 
or connect four, but there's a lot of subtlety and strategy to it. So the more you play, the more you start to see that and the more interesting it gets. One of the really cool things is we brought it out to a party that I was having at my house one time. We just put it out on a little table and these two people sat down and played it. And one person lost and then he won and then he lost and he won and he kept playing it over and over and over again, figuring out, I've got what the strategy is. He thought he had the strategy, played it one last time and lost and still went, no, oh, I don't know. I have no idea how this is working. When is this coming out and where can people find it? Interesting part about not self-publishing this, right? So we're working with a publisher, Breaking Games. So we don't have all information right now. We know it's available on their website right now. I know that they're working to try to get it into stores and through distribution, but we don't have full information on that at this point. Is there any last words, anything you want to say about the game before we wrap up? Oh, it's just, uh, this has been such a game that we've been working on for so long. And considering that it all just kind of downloaded into his brain, it's, it's still just working on it and trying to get the wording right and working with folks and making sure that all the little tweaks were done, especially once we rethemed it, making sure everything fit together. So it's been kind of a joy for a long time. And yet at the same time, it's the only game we've ever created that was just done. We haven't changed any of the mechanics since we started this thing. Uh, that, that is correct. And that's, that's one of the interesting things. Um, Kiva and I together must have 30 something playable demos. She's got five, I think at this point that are hundred percent her. We've got the rest of them that are all collaborative and, and, and some that are just by me, but all of them have involved lots of work. This one, like I said, I woke up after a, a, a fever and it just downloaded into my head and it's worked. And then the guys at breaking games took a, um, a rough, unthemed game and turned it into something wicked and now that it's on the shelf this is awesome and we're all really excited excellent i will put the um the link in the description below um thank you both for for joining me and talking about this great game uh to our viewers out there uh thank you for watching and stay tuned for more gaming content have a good day